Welcome to our study of the book of Psalms. We are to Psalm 134. It is the last of the 15 Ascension Psalms. And uh, it is a short one. In fact, in just a minute, uh, we're not even going to have an outline on it, and you'll see why. Uh, we wrap this up with titling, This God is My Blessing. And we have found that in each of, uh, of these psalms that God has revealed himself to his people in, uh, in different ways. And you're going to get to see the complete list right after a couple introductory remarks. So uh, for the last time in this study of these 15, um, I can say Psalms 120 through 34 are the 15 psalms that are called the Ascension Psalms. The Jews call them the Ascents, and they would be sung while ascending up to the temple from wherever they were coming and walking from around the country, and they were going up an altitude because Mount Zion is a mountain. Not a big one, but uh, it's the elevation was was up a whole lot higher than the valleys. All right, and in our Bibles, in my Bible, the King James Version, and probably yours, uh, if you have a different one, right before the psalm, it would say a psalm of degrees. And so think of stepping up, coming up in degrees um, as they were getting higher. And they would sing these psalms uh, not just to pass the time, but to praise God and uh to just be able to rehearse scripture again, lift up their voices together. There's something about people uh, that have come together for safety to in a crowd to walk to Jerusalem to sing because it might be other groups in a distance coming also, other people joining them along the way. So we know this about the, these psalms from the past. Uh, God's people, when the uh, Persian king kings allowed them to return from their captivity in Babylon, uh, they would sing them. And then they were also sung by God's people, the Israelites, as I mentioned to you, there were three feasts in their year which they were asked to come to Jerusalem and as a nation come together to praise God. And then they even to this day are sung uh, by the Levites, although they do not have 15 temple steps because the temple is not built, uh, but they will lead the people in these. When the temple was built, uh, the priests would recite or sing one per step. We do not know who wrote this psalm. It's not listed. And then here is our complete list. And we can see everywhere from the first one, God is my deliverer, to God is my blessing. Here are the 15, and this is how God reveals himself to his people. So the outline, there is none that I'm going to give you. I've, I ran across some looking around um, just to see what other scholars were doing and Bible commentators, but as the more I got to reading this and thinking about this, and the thought came from someone else too, we should read this as one thought in a verse. Um, it's just one, one thought, it's a wrap up. It's a conclusion, it's, hey, we're arriving. And uh, the excitement and the joy of a journey being done, finished, but yet the joy of looking forward to to a time of worshiping God and praising God. So let me read the, these verses and a couple of comments and we'll close in prayer. Behold, all right, mean just stop and look and bless you the Lord, okay? Just we're happy. Lord, we want you to be happy. Bless God, praise God. Praise the Lord, all you servants of the Lord. And by the word, the word Lord here, as it is throughout the book of Psalms and the Old Testament, is Jehovah. And it means the, the existing one, always been, is, and always will be. And all you servants of the Lord, which by night stand in the house of the Lord. All right, 
this is interesting here. You, uh, does your church have a Sunday night service? Well, the temple had had a night service as an evening service too. And they were to come in. And this service was, they, they were to come, they stood, there's no sitting anywhere, and they were just to take one stand for the Lord. And how blessed they are to be his people and just wanting to praise God. And so a note that's jotted here um, is this, stand in the house of the Lord, that phrasing, um, at the time of the evening service to unite in praising God in their name and that of the people, using appropriate gestures to which the priests reply, pronouncing the Mosaic blessing, which they alone could pronounce. And so this was a special service of, of God's people, not just singing, not just meeting, but also with their hands, with gestures getting involved and speaking to the priest, the priest would reply back, also to have a blessing only God's people knew about. And so it's very fitting, and uh, I ran across this statement. Uh, scholars of yesteryear used to call the Ascension Psalms the pilgrim book because these were, these were pilgrims coming from their cities all over the nation and making a pilgrimage to Jerusalem. And it's very fit. All right, let's finish this up with these two verses. And here, once again, they're moving their hands. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary and bless the Lord. And that's one of the things they were just asked to do right off the bat. After they got in and they took their stand, lift your hands and praise God in his sanctuary and bless the Lord. The Lord, why? Because the Lord that made heaven and earth bless you out of Zion. And so what they're saying is, Lord, out of Zion, out of your city, out of your nation, we are wrapping this up and we are just praising you. We lift up our hands and you that have made heaven and earth, praise God to you. And the word made means fashioned or accomplished as if handmade, and it was. So this is our wrap up. And, you know, there's just sometimes we just need to take time and just bless God and thank God for who he is and what he's done. Um, God, the creator. Father, thank you for all of these psalms. And today I thank you for this one, real short, but it's a great wrap up because it just reminds us of who you are and who we are and what you have done and are doing, very important. And also important is what we need to be doing. And so Lord, we praise you and we thank you. In Jesus name we pray, amen. It's where I can be found, and if you have any questions, comments, please uh, email me. I will email you back. And now we'll be leaving the Ascension Psalms and be headed to Psalm 135 next. So I'd like to invite you. I'm at the point now that I'm over 500 YouTube videos. I'd like to invite you to go into my playlist. Uh, you're already on my channel by watching this. And you can find all the books or all the uh, chapters, all the Psalms, um, probably, because in 15 weeks they'll all be done and on. But there are also things about America, Americana, fun things, remember when. Also, there's a thing called uh, a treasure hunt, and that's all about the most recent archaeological finds. Usually they're not they're just getting into a dig or they've been doing it and they find a couple of things. And so I'm able to share that with you and maybe a year later there's four or five new things from that dig and it's just a good recap. But I've, there's all sorts of things being found all the time. Then you can find a lot of Bible books and Bible topics in my playlist. So thank you and may God bless you.